dark clouds hovering over Singapore's economy has been dispersing. The downturn here has bottomed out. That is what Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long had to say when asked about the island city's economy. He was at a media conference on the upcoming Apex Summit. The government had revised its forecast for 2009's GDP from a drop of 6% to 4% to a new forecast of a fall of 2.5% to 2%. Uh, my sense is that we are out of the trough of the spasm which we experienced at the beginning of this year. If we take th- third quarter this year compared to third quarter a year ago, we are, I think, 0.8% growth. Not Nothing to crow about, but something to be grateful for. The theme of this year's APEC summit is sustaining growth and connecting the region. Mr. Lee says although China, India and Japan are the main economic players in Asia, Singapore can still benefit indirectly from working with neighbouring economies and through the outcomes of negotiations at the APEC summit. I hope that we will, through this meeting, be able to give the APEC agenda a push forward. If we can make progress on what we've put down, on uh, sustaining growth and on integrating the region. The effect on us may be indirect, but is a real and significant benefit to Singaporeans because it helps us to create a regional environment where we have, we have peace, cooperation and the ability to prosper and do well for ourselves. The APEC Summit 2009 will be held in Singapore from November 8th to the 15th. Some 2,000 delegates from 21 countries are expected to attend. On the agenda are three key goals. APEC members hope to achieve a more inclusive economic growth, which means more partnerships with neighbouring countries, to ensure that such growth can be sustained, and finally, to keep in mind that countries must progress in a balanced manner. Balanced growth means dealing with reforms to reduce the savings and investment imbalances so that we can grow without leading to new problems in future. Inclusive growth means growth which will generate opportunities for the majority of our populations so that there will be support for the policies which make this prosperity possible for free trade, for globalization, for better integration which benefits all of us. And then sustainable growth, because issues of climate change, issues of energy efficiency are on everybody's minds now. But we will focus on economic and trade initiatives that promote energy efficiency and in particular reduce barriers to trade in environmental goods and services. As APEX member countries hope for economic initiatives to crystallise, Prime Minister Lee hopes Singaporeans will all chip in to make the delegates' experience a memorable one. Let's show them what Singapore can be. Let's be hospitable hosts, whether you are a taxi driver, whether you are uh, the staff in the hotel, whether you are a stranger who asks for directions in the street, whether you are just going about your business and inconvenience because the APEC convoy has zoomed by and left you standing in a traffic jam. Please uh, do your part and show them what Singapore can do.